As the race to reach carbon net zero continues, global medicines company Novartis believe human health and planetary health are intrinsically linked. We went to their headquarters in Switzerland to find out how they are improving outcomes for both. The aspiration of Novartis to be a catalyst for positive change and a global leader in environmental sustainability means embedding the right mindset throughout the organization, according to the company's chief sustainability officer. As a healthcare company, our purpose is to reimagine medicines to extend people's life. And definitely we see a very, very close linkage between planet health and human health. That's why we see that we have either a much more bigger responsibility to work together to really to fight against the climate challenges and really to support to improve people, population, health across all the world. To that end, Novartis have set themselves very ambitious targets. By 2025, to be carbon neutral in their own operations. By 2030, to be fully carbon neutral, plastic neutral and water sustainable. Then by 2040, to achieve net zero across the entire value chain. As a global pharmaceutical manufacturer with an extensive supply chain, Novartis invest to decarbonize the energy they need by using renewable energy sources. Their virtual power purchase agreement, VPPA, with Enel Green Power creates a win-win structure, which finances Enel's investment in renewable sources like wind farms, while giving Novartis certainty of energy prices for a 10-year fixed term. Novartis established this kind of virtual PPA structure um, in order to be able to reduce the footprint or the carbon footprint from the entire European operations, meaning they are going to have uh, um, an elect renewable electricity supply capable to compensate and reduce the emissions uh, coming from every single uh, location in Europe, including offices, warehouses, manufacturing facilities, but also uh, the benefits uh, it's, uh, are related also to the possibility to enlarge this partnership with a company, a global company like Novartis, and, and having a, um, uh, an impact that goes beyond this specific agreement, but also uh, uh, to, to do projects with the communities surrounding the wind farm and to start this kind of collaboration towards the same uh, shared uh, commitment and target towards sustainability in other parts of the world. Novartis was a pioneer of natural climate solutions, which remove carbon from the atmosphere with trees and plants. They took the risk early to develop the long-term projects themselves, not just buy in spot transaction credits. They created nurseries to grow native species and committed to supporting the projects even after the carbon crediting period ends, says Joachim Sell of First Climate, that's been supporting Novartis in implementing and managing its natural climate solutions program since 2006. The focus of Novartis Engagement Forestry is in reforestation projects which cause carbon removals. These projects are all um, designed in a sustainable way, so they bring sustainability benefits with them. These include social benefits, for example, um, job generation, income generation, capacity building, but also environmental benefits, like an increase in biodiversity, connecting uh, native ecosystems uh, for the animals. So, for example, in the Colombian project, the amount of animals that come back now in that region has increased uh, largely, including the big cats like uh, jaguar or puma and so on. Sharing best practice and educating suppliers, collaborating both within and across industries are fundamental to the Novartis approach to tackling climate change. This is not a pharma sector problem or it is a consumer health problem. This is all of our problems. So we need to really to join forces all together. And I think that what's really nice, it is really to share best practices, then how together we can leverage it from each other and identify, for example, solutions that can really support all of us on that journey.